The Reverse Side of Publicity Menshikova's Conversation with Her Students The closer someone gets to you, the more carefully you need to watch your wallet. And not only your wallet, but also your bed, your closet, and other things dear to your heart. Don't do it. Don't provoke others. Try to remember that. Do not provoke them with your own happiness, with your own wealth, or with your resistance to external events. Remember that we live among people. And of course, you can say to someone who emptied your wallet, shame on you. But at the same time, you are the one who gave this person a reason to think that your wallet could be full of cash, right? A woman who posts pictures of her happy family life on social media should be prepared to face the fact that somebody else may want to steal her family away. If you clearly demonstrate that your life is different from other people's, you will always be threatened by external circumstances. Keep that in mind. And a zero state is exactly a state when you do not demonstrate yourself to the rest of the world in any way at all. It may be very difficult for a person to accept that she will not position herself in the world and around people. That is, she will not express herself in success or otherwise. And what state of consciousness would allow you to give up positioning yourself? The complete independence from people. Because it would make no sense for you to position yourself in front of them. Why would you do it if you don't depend on the people's opinion? There's no point. As soon as we start demonstrating ourselves to the outside world in some way, it shows that we depend on the opinion of the person in front of whom we are demonstrating ourselves. And if it's happening on social media, it shows that we are dependent on an unlimited number of people. We depend on people in general.